Hey everyone, in this session we are going to discuss about one of the most important feature which is rolled out in February 2020 update which is the hierarchical slicer. So now let's explore this newly available slicer in detail. So first of all, make sure that you have updated your Power BI desktop with the latest release of February 2020. Now you need to enable the preview feature on. For that go to the file menu, go to options and setting and go to the options. From preview feature, make sure that you have enabled hierarchy slicer. Click on OK and restart your Power BI desktop. So let me show you my data source. So here is my data source where I have city and state column. Now I wish to show uh, the hierarchy of state and city in my slicer to filter the data. For that, what we need to do is first we need to add this slicer. Now here you can add the state column as a category so you have the states available now we want to add cities under the state so for that just add the city column so you can see here this type of out of the box hierarchy has been added so under top of the category we have the state and under that we have the different cities now let me show you this out of the box uh, one of the report that I have created. So here I have the customer ID, first name, last name and phone number. Now let me explain you the different option available for this hierarchical slicer. So the format property are same as the normal slicer. So just go to the format pen. Here you have the different option like single selection. If you turn off you have the two options like multi select and select all option so multi select with control so out of the box it will uh, easily support multi select but if you wish to have multi select is applicable only with the control key then you can turn on this option now i'm turn offing this option because i don't want to have this option i uh, want to have multi select by uh, by default so you can see here uh, whenever i have selected these two categories uh, uh, the counts are this one now let me just uh, remove few of the options from this category you can see the counts are changing and my data is being filtered properly so this is a really really uh, helpful and needy feature that microsoft recently introduced in this february 2020 update because earlier what we need to do is we need to install one of the custom visual and need to add that in our report now with this out of the box slicer capabilities we have this hierarchy slicer available in out of the box manner so we don't need to install any third party slicers for this thing now let me uh, show you one more thing over here let's say for an example as slicer uh, under if you go to this header we have two options list and drop down so this is also working the same for this hierarchy thing so if you go for the drop down this will show this type of drop down to you and same way if you go for the list this will open this slicer in a form of a list like this all right so hope this is clear for you now and uh, you will explore this feature more and more and utilize this feature to develop your new report so if you have any question related to this topic you can email me at drovingsha16 at gmail.com or you can whatsapp me on plus nine one nine five three seven nine eight one four six seven if you are for the first time to my channel make sure that you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel just click on this form this will redirect you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving the daily notification from my channel stay connected with me have a great day goodbye